I'll put our store up against any store across the country. It's an experience here. When you come to Record Archive, it, you forget about the rest of the world. It's like little, its own little oasis. I'm Elena Alderman. I am the vice president and co-owner of Record Archive. I am the entire operations manager and co-owner. So from start to finish, hiring, firing, buying, everything you see in the store is because it's here for a reason. My partner started it in 1975, Dick Storms. Great visionary and uh, he's retired now pretty much, but uh, it's kind of let me kind of take the reins and run with it. So everything from the back room, expansion of toys and novelty, gifts, items, um, there's just a lot of stuff, everything happens, all the promotions we do, it all comes from me. Well, we've actually moved a couple times. The, the original location, I mean, if you go way back, Richard started at a flea market. Mm -hmm. Then he was in the basement of Village Green Bookstore on Monroe Avenue. Mm -hmm. Then we were over at 1394 Mount Hope Avenue, which is where I started back in 1985. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the first, there was three floors, that was just all vinyl, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then as the late 80s, early 90s, and the, the onset of the CD, we were making, we had to flip, and, you know, make room for all the CDs. And now here we are all those years later, yeah. you know, we've got 13,000 square feet here and this is a fabulous space and I'm, I'm like, I'm perfectly content and happy with it. We will ride out our years here. Um, but a lot of that has been diversification. Mm -hmm. And now we've expanded all of our vinyl. We've got the largest vinyl selection in the Northeast mm -hmm. um, because ever, we've never stopped buying records in all of our 46 yeah. years. We've been buying every form of pre-recorded media there is. I have reel-to-reel, 8-tracks, mm -hmm. VHS, DVDs, CDs, vinyl, 7 inches, you name it. So um, it, it's, it's really been great. This space has been terrific and I, I'm very happy here. It used to be a bunch of guys in black t-shirts mm -hmm. and long hair, and it was like kind of an old boys club. Um, and there are some stores that are still reflective of that. We're not one of them. We're very, very diverse. Um, there's a lot of women that shop, a lot of young girls. Vinyl is obviously selling better than ever. Um, so it's really fun to see a younger demographic with that mm -hmm. and um, and sharing those experiences with their parents, grandparents, etc. So. Um, it's really expanded, but it also reflects what we offer too, because we're more mm -hmm. than just music. The experience, the vibe, the people, and you know, obviously the product mix. You know, you can buy a record or a CD anywhere, but you're not going to be able to buy a record and a potato gun and a T-shirt mm -hmm. and a poster and a, you know, a, a vintage bike, <laughs> but you can get that all at Record <laughs> yeah. Archive. So, and we're the first record store in New York State to have our beer and wine license. Okay. So, once we can lose the masks again. You'll be able to grab that craft beer or a nice glass of wine and shop around the store. And what a great way to spend an afternoon, yeah. you know, listening to records and having a, a beer in your hand.